Installing the Halo Light RF is a straightforward process. The kit contains the Halo Light RF programmable room thermostat, separated into the display unit and rear housing. A trim plate, desk stand, Halo Light RF receiver, four AA batteries, screws, roll plugs, an installation and user guide, and a SAP registration label. The Halo Light RF receiver must be installed by a competent person with the appropriate safety qualifications. All wiring must be adequately sheathed and insulated. Isolate any 230 volts AC main supply to the boiler and to the Halo Light RF receiver and any other linked components before commencing works. When sighting the Halo Light RF, ensure the location complies with the location guidelines in the installation guide. The Halo Light RF should be mounted between 1.2 to 1.5 meters above the floor. Not above a radiator or heat source. Not in direct sunlight, away from drafts and not fitted behind a curtain. The receiver should be mounted close to a 230 volt AC fused supply and mounted horizontally on the wall at least one meter from the floor. Using a suitable screwdriver, turn the locking key one quarter turn anti-clockwise to the unlock position. Remove the front panel by lifting the bottom edge first. Assemble in reverse order. To mount directly onto the wall, Mark and drill mounting holes and fix the bracket to the wall using suitable fixings for the wall type. From the fuse spur, wire the live, neutral and earth connections into the right-hand side connections marked L, N and E. The wiring can be rear entry or surface mounted. Wire the Halo Light RF receiver using the open therm connections. The following guide refers to the ideal combi boilers. For other models, please refer to the boiler's installation manual to locate connections. Make sure the main supply is still isolated. Remove the boiler front panel and swing the control box into the servicing position. Locate the mains wiring terminals on the left-hand side. If removed, replace the mains thermostat link. Locate the open therm terminals on the right-hand side. Remove the link if present. Wire the Halo Light RF receiver to the boiler using the open therm connections. These are not polarity conscious. Always remember to lock the front panel to the Halo Light receiver. The receiver is supplied out of the box in the unlock position. The Halo Light RF can be installed with or without the trim plate provided. If no trim plate is required, use the rear housing to position the unit on the wall. Take care not to over tighten the screws. Insert the four AA batteries provided into the front housing of the Halo. Pay close attention that the orientation of the batteries is as indicated in the housing. Locate the front housing in position perpendicular to the rear housing and clip into place. If choosing to install on the desk stand, locate the front housing in position perpendicular to the rear housing and clip into place. Clip the combined rear housing and display onto the desk stand. Switch the power back onto the boiler. After power has been established, the unit will automatically pair to the PRT. Once this is completed, the power and RF LED will be solid green. The device will prompt setup of the time and date using an easy step-by-step -step process. There is the opportunity to add an installer contact phone number into the device at this stage. If not changed, this will default to the ideal heating customer service number. Once the setup is completed, the home screen will be shown. The Halo Light RF installation guide provides information on the advanced settings that can be altered on installation if required to enable features such as optimized start and optimized stop. There is also an installation checklist to follow to check the device is working correctly and is set up appropriately for the householder. At Ideal Heating, 
we understand the importance of quality customer care and post-sale support. For any queries, please contact one of our teams. For further guidance on using the Ideal Halo Light RF, see other how-to videos available online.